Hey, what's up there guys? Corey here with Android Community. Today uh, we're taking a look at a new keyboard for Android called Dynamic Keyboard. Now we talked about this earlier in the week and uh, it's going to be available here I believe tomorrow or the next day. And here it is, it's called Dynamic Keyboard and the point here, uh, it's one developer kind of working on this, is the keyboard will kind of dynamically learn and change as you go. Now as you can see the keys are actually bigger on the keyboard and that's because using the prediction engine the next letter in each word you know as the prediction engine goes will actually increase in size making it easier to hit So then typing becomes easier faster and more accurate so that's kind of what the developers promising here with dynamic keyboard and so far it it works pretty good it's still a beta product I uh, still need some work uh, not gonna lie but I uh, go ahead and open the drawer here and enable and make the keyboard default like we've seen with tons of other third-party keyboards and then general setup you go into general and you can have you know currency keys and vibration feedback and how long it takes to pop up and all those other kind of things with split keyboard and capitalization and frames per second and a few other kind of weird things like that are included here and uh, then once you go back in there's uh, language options and then customize and in customize you can change the key size and the shape a little bit um, he's kind of tweaked it to kind of look a little bit like you know some of the holo themed keyboards but it, you can change all that as well there's gonna be a free and a paid version it sounds like but uh... and then the translucent background and custom colors if you like is where you can just go ahead and go crazy on the colors if you uh, want to kind of customize your keyboard and then another thing if you guys saw the video earlier in the week the keys kind of all pop up all bubbly because they are kind of getting bigger and smaller and it looked really really neat but also kind of distracting so uh, there's an animation level where you can actually kind of tone down the animation level. Right now it's set to smooth instead of balanced, but either way they both kind of go crazy. And you can turn it off altogether if you'd like, and just have uh, the keys get bigger without all the fancy animations. And then there's a breathing animation where the keys will just kind of breathe or pulsate, even if you're not typing. But there's enough movement, movement, movement kind of going on already. So we, we, we got rid of all that, and there it is, the actual keyboard itself. And uh, when you start to type here, so do something like hello, see the E instantly got bigger because it kind of knows that might be something you're going to say. The L got bigger again. Right now it should probably be the O, but in the... Made a few mistakes there. This is a test of the new keyboard for Android. So as you can see the keys all kind of get bigger as you type. That was just gibberish I typed there, but so go ahead and try something else. Testing out. See the T got bigger. D Y A gets bigger. I gets a little bigger. I'm gonna double tap, go ahead and put some a space. So uh, there it is, just kind of a quick look here at Dynamic Keyboard. Uh, it's still, still kind of a work in progress. If you push and hold here, you get, it's really small, needs to be bigger, but those are actually like smiley faces. As you can see, you kind of go through them, which is kind of neat, but they're kind of too small. And then the same thing, go ahead and hit this, and uh, that'll bring up the microphone, but you have to put your slide over to it, and it's kind of tiny. So, and then same thing with, uh, you know, long pressing for uh, numbers and anything like that. If you try to long press for like, uh, you know, letter 7, it's over here. You push and hold. You can scroll down and choose tons of different things or 7. So it's kind of not the best. But obviously, you can just go ahead and tap that and go into those options over there. But uh, go ahead and hit that. Go back to letters. Give this one more try. But that's a quick look here at Dynamic Keyboard. This is going to be available tomorrow. The animation it lags at times. It's a little slow. I mean, this is the LG G2, um, just one of the fastest, most powerful phones on the market, and it still kind of has some issues, so he needs a little bit of work with, uh, with the app, definitely, to get those animations smoother, faster, and, and just a little more accurate. But that aside, the actual prediction of the letters is pretty good, which is kind of the key here. Uh, so hopefully, over time, the app gets improved and, and animations and speed and all that get beefed up but definitely the idea is awesome so uh, once that all gets fixed 
Um, this will be a pretty, pretty awesome keyboard alternative. But that was just a quick look. Thanks for watching, guys.